everybody. Uh, welcome back to those of you who've been here before and welcome to those who are new. I'm just doing a little update on some of the creative stuff that I'm doing right now. I'm trying to spend more time this year working on creative projects, doing more art and more music. And so I thought I would just kind of show you some things I'm working on. And with art, I was feeling like a little bit stuck. So what happened was back in 2020, March of 2020, before COVID and everything, I had an art show. Um, if you're following me back then, then you know about it. But I had like a solo show and I was working really hard towards it and I had a big opening and everything. And I had that. And then a week later, of course, we all know what happened, right? Like COVID shut everything down. And so I went and collected my paintings and they are over here. They're in my basement and they've just been kind of sitting there. And I really haven't done like too, too much since. And that was like 2024 already. And so I've done like the odd thing, but nothing too much. And so I was thinking like, I often think like, oh, I got to do some big project. I got to like, you know, have some big concept or something. And I think that's a leftover from like going to art school. But um, I thought, you know what, why not take these paintings that are just sitting here anyway and rework them just to get the creative kind of juices flowing so that I'm not pressured to make something entirely new out of thin air. And so I'm going to show you kind of as I work on one of them, kind of my process and what I'm doing and not like, again, I'm not sure where this is going. I just want to do like a creative type exercise just to like be creative and have some fun. I think as adults, we think like, oh, if I'm going to make something, it better be good, right? Like it better be good. It better be like gallery worthy or be able to put it on the internet worthy. like it's, you know, we think like, oh my God, it's got to be successful. When we're kids, we just color for the fun of it. We just sing a song for the fun of it. We don't worry about like how it's going to appear. And especially nowadays, it's like everything's got to be like content or whatever. And I mean, I know, yes, I'm making a video with this, so I guess it is content, but <laughs> I want to just show you that it's okay to like play and to experiment and try different things. And it's also okay to go back into old work and kind of rework things. And I think some of my thought process with this as well is because the the show that I did I keep pointing over here because the paintings are over there um was actually like really intense and personal what I did was I um I kind of went back to my roots of what kind of helped me with drawing when I was younger so when I was a teenager I would often draw the bands I really loved um you know for magazines and stuff and so I got you know I that's how I learned to draw like people and faces and things and so I did that I drew kind of these heavy metal icons that were in my life um that really influenced me um and then I made them look by icon like icons on these paintings by putting halos around them of different different items and then I in the back of the painting and I'll show you what I mean in a minute I wrote about some of the more difficult things that had happened to me when I was younger and how because music was really important and art was really important in helping me to get through these things so what I want to do now is um, I'm I'm going back with these paintings and I'm working I'm working them over a bit by putting color into them like into the black and white images and I'm also painting over the stories not because the stories don't mean anything but because I feel like I want to put another layer on them because uh, a lot of these stories are you know they're difficult and it's not that I'm I want to cover the stories up or, or I want them to they're a part of me and part of who I am but it's like there's another layer of of healing and another layer of um, telling new stories and, and interpreting them in new ways um, as something more positive. And so um, I th that's kind of what I'm doing right now with this. And I don't know if it'll turn into anything, but I just thought it's an experiment. It's something we'll see where it goes. So I'm going to, I'm going to show you, um, I'm going to show you some of the, the paintings over here, and then I'll show you uh, one of the ones that I am working on right now. So these are some of the paintings that I've been working on. As you can see here, this one has like a halo of cigarettes um, and it talks about a time when I was uh, being bullied a lot um, when I was a teenager. And then this one here is talking about when I was a teenager. I think a lot of girls, especially in the 80s and 90s, had sort of like eating issues and things. So it talks about that. So again, these are kind of like more difficult type things, but you can see what I'm talking about where I've got the writing here and then I've got the, the different items. 
Oh, this one's upside down. This is part of a four part one. Um, it's got Motley Crue on it. Just so you know, this is, where am I here? Uh, this is Duff McKagan from Guns N' Roses. Uh, we have Sebastian Bach here from Skid Row. Um, this is Vince Neil from Motley Crue. He's upside down here. Um, I've got uh, Bruce Dickinson from Iron, Iron Maiden. And then there's some more of the Motley Crue one. And these ones, I put these little cross stickers on. They're upside down crosses because uh, everyone was like, Motley Crue is so satanic. Blah, 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 right? Um, oh, that's another uh, Motley Crue one there. There's Nikki Six. Um, here we have uh, some of them I did quotes, quotes that I really liked from these. So this is Lemmy from Motorhead. And then I have Ozzy here um, from obviously Ozzy, Ozzy Osbourne. And then I have here um, Rob Halford from Judas Priest. We have uh, James Hatfield from Metallica. And then um, I have one of the poison ones, and this was a four part one as well. And I'll be showing you one of them that I am working on. All right, so this is one of the paintings I'm working on. I've already done some work in that I have removed, I had some um, actually, I think these were I had writing in the back, I had tampons glued over here, and I've taken those off, I've painted them over gold, I've painted pink in the background. I'm just trying to rework these and see if I can make something new or improve them in some way. This is just doing um, something that kind of to get the creative wheels turning again and work with something I've already made so I'm not pressured to come up with something entirely new. And I think sometimes that can be a big sticking point when we're feeling a little creative stifled. So I'm working with something already made. This is part of a four part thing. I had all four guys from the band Poison in this. Um, and so this is Brett Michaels and I am going to be working with some of these ink tents Sorry, where are they here? There they are, these ink tents, uh, crayons, they are pencil crayons, but they're also watercolors. So I like to color these and then uh, put water on them so they become watercolors. They're a little easier to control. So I'm gonna work with these and I will check back with you to see how the progress is I finished coloring it with the, um, the watercolor pencil crayons, which you can't really see too, too well here. You can see it a little bit. But um, once I put some water on it, it'll really start to pop with color. We'll see what the results are and I'll show you back in a second. So as you can see with the water, it really makes the colors pop. I really got to get um, some kind of stand so I can show you this without me trying to hold it and paint at the same time. But I will show you the results when it is all done. Okay, so this is partway through the progress. We've got the hair done. We've got uh, some red there. We've got the lips and the eyes. It's still got a little ways to go, but as you can see, the color really pops out once you add water to the watercolor pencil crayon. So we'll keep going with it, and I'll do another little update. I think I've done so far for today, and then I'll do another little update later. So I've done some more work on it, and I don't know if you can see here, but I've worked the jacket so you can see that it's a little... You know the colors are a little brighter. I think I might do a little more work in here. I feel like this area could could be darker, um, but I'm going to do a little more work with it. And then I'm not sure what to do with up here. I'm wondering about doing a halo with some gold leaf. Um, I'm wondering about doing some lyrics in the background. Um, but I'm just going to have a play, see where this goes, and then I'll give you. I'll give you an, another update when it's all done. I know I'm doing these short little random updates, but I just want to kind of show you the progress and kind of my thought pattern because I thought I would do the jacket, but I feel like the jacket could have more black in it. I feel like it's a little too, a little too gray. I think it needs some more, some more black in some of their here. And that's the thing with the ink tense crayons is that when they go on, they're pretty light. So sometimes you don't always see like exactly how the colors are all going to go until you've actually actually worked with it and painted a bit. So I feel like it could have some more black in there. So I'm going to work on that and uh, put a little more black into the mix. 
So thank you for joining me while I worked on a painting. Um, again, not sure where this whole process project is going, but you know, if you want to see more of these, let me know. Let me know if you're interested in seeing any of the stuff, you know, that I'm working on or, or ta have me talk about some of the creative stuff I do. Like um, I'm doing this and then I'm also in a band, um, a dark wave band, and I want to do some writing too. I'm feeling just a lot of creative energy lately. So let me know what your thoughts are. Um, as always, thank you so much to all of you for watching and supporting me, especially to my patrons. You guys are amazing. And if you want to check out my Patreon, it's definitely linked below, or you want to get a reading from me, I've got my Etsy shop. I am featuring relationship readings because it is the month of February. Anyway, thank you so, so much. You guys are the best. And as always, peace and love.